Wow, first time starting out before sunrise. Oh, first bar, but we're not stopping because we've just left. Put on my torch. Fare thee well, Monastery Ave Maria Real. <laughs> cool place, yeah? Good morning. It is the 9th of September, uh, top of 22 degrees. We are now 10, perhaps even a little bit less. I'm heading to um, Santo Domenico de la Calzida today, which is 22 kilometers away. We were going to head out at 7, but pilgrims are already getting up, so might as well get up. It's about 6.30, I think. Looking to head out for our first coffee soon. And uh, yeah, had, had an okay sleep. I'm walking the streets yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Oh, gracias, senor. Ooh, look at my Spanish. <laughs> the streets of Nahira is very clean. Cars are zooming around the corner at this hour, so I think people are starting to wake up. Um, we went past the pretty iconic landmark of the Monastery Ave Maria Real, which I thought was a real highlight. Definitely go and have a look. I, just, I love the, um, the cloisters and the um, columns and the lace work. <laughs> And um, pretty eerie heading down to where the burial places of the nobles were. Loved the knights or the um, the cloisters of the knights, I think. And um, yeah, it was pretty surreal standing in front of the place where Mary allegedly appeared. Um, had to say a quick prayer because I'm a Catholic, but also felt that it was respectful to do so. <laughs> Should be a really nice walk today. Well, ups and, not too much ups and downs. We'll report back later. Oh, all right. Torch is doing okay. It's very dark. The batteries are gone already. <gasps> Look at that. It's starting to come up. Oh, wow. The flickering arrows at the side of this. It will change. The wind, the scenery will change, but there is that light that comes up just before the sun peaks over, I guess. We're going to try and capture that. Ah, that's enough. Oh, and the light's changed again. Jail. Okay. All right, thanks. Yeah, but it's capturing memories for me too, buddy. And it's changed again. It's really rare for me to find a sunrise because I'm more of a sunset person. Because <laughs> I can never really get up early enough. That was pretty good. We'll see a lot more of that later this morning. Guys, another variation of colour palette. Who needs art when you have nature, hey? Feeling very relaxed this morning. The road is gentle. Um, my two wannabe blisters have kind of subsided, you know, the ones on my toes. And last night my groin was giving me a lot of trouble. But, oh God, I stretched and I stretched and I think today it's either that I can't feel it because it's too sore or I am kind of have pretty much relaxed it a little bit, but uh, it feels pretty good. Um, really lovely to be out and about, about 7 a.m. now. Really looking forward to the coffee. Thank you so much to everyone who's bought me coffee. Um, I will call out your names. Not sure if that's really what you want, but just know that I really appreciate um, hearing from you. Uh, I've cracked my iPhone screen, so I'm thinking I might put the coffee funds 
into replacing my screen. I went into a store last night at Nahira, talked to a lovely young man, and she, he said, it's gonna cost me 2,000 euros to replace it. I said, what, 2,000 euros? Goodness, I'm gonna to have to try and wait until I get back home to Melbourne, in, you know, in about, by mid-October to do this, and hoping that my phone would just hold up. Anyway, as I walked out, he said, oh, sorry, no, no, it's 200 euros. Oh, wow, well, still, that's, that's quite a bit. So anyways, thank you so much for the coffee funds. I'm gonna put, put it towards the screen, I think. In the meantime, I will continue to buy coffee because, you know, I'm a coffee addict. But, gosh, Europe, what are you guys doing with coffee? You have to send all your barristers to Melbourne, please. <laughs> I'm being fussy, um, I'm being cheeky here, but to be honest, um, God, the coffee here is just not, not impressive at all. Sorry guys, I love Europe, you know how much I love Europe, but this is something that I drink every day, and a lot of people drink every day, and it's always a disappointment, and I don't know, I think definitely think it's the milk. It's the milk, yep. Mark, look. The reflection of that pond. Yeah. Stunning. That's an aqueduct, isn't oh. it? Yeah, I did say it's an aqueduct about the aqueduct. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, yes. Look at that. So that brings water all the way in. The lights changed again. Gorgeous. Born Camino. Love that beautiful shades of blue. So nice. The light again. Look at all the colours. We're heading into Azofra now. Always a steeple or two. The Danish pilgrim guy. Yep. Like, yeah. Why are you taking you know? It sounds like she's had some nasty comments because she made a place of the Alright. Okay. Look at that beautiful pink and purple glow over the town of Azafra. Azafra. Coffee stop coming up. Yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo. doing Caminos. That's what it means. Oh, okay. Not like the mayor lives there. Calle Manot Mayor. Okay. Main Street. I thought the mayor lives there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mayor. Nice house. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Oh, I love vines. I, do, but I would like to have a window like this. Beautiful pots of flowers. I love seeing people's laundry. <laughs> All the pilgrims are gathering at that bar. I normally like to go to a second bar just to give the second bar some business because everyone just dropped their bags at first. But it seems like there's only one bar in town. Hola! What day did you stay? First coffee of the morning. All right, so two questions. One for each of you. I know, I noticed. I'm loving the music of this. Cafe. I'm just gonna see it's not dry yet, so I think I think it should be okay. It's on a carabiner, and um, yeah, so wet socks is not a good thing. All right, I'm here with Vincent from Florida. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, um, how has the Camino experience been for you? Tough, tougher than I thought. So yeah, a lot of walking, a lot of hills, and um, yeah, it's a lot more difficult than I thought due to the uh, amount of energy that I need to spend every day. Right. Yes, I would concur with that. Um, any tips for people who are thinking about doing the Camino for the first time? 
Yes. Get good clothing, get good shoes, and start walking now. Great. You don't want to train on the trail. You want to have some fitness or some level of fitness coming into this, especially in the beginning stages. A lot of people who did not take the fitness seriously are having issues in Pamplona. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Pamplona was a real Put big... Put the work in at home, make it difficult so that you can enjoy the walk here. Three words to describe the Camino. Three words. Three words. Yes. Long, beautiful. Long, okay. <laughs> okay. It is long, yes. Passionate, I guess. Oh, interesting words. All right. Thanks so much for sharing that with us today. Thank you. I can't get down on my right knee. Okay. Good morning. Leaving Azofra, heading to our town for tonight, which is Santo Domingo del Calzida. I <laughs> had to say that a few times. <laughs> Look how beautiful our shadows are. We are so tall and catwalk like. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my shadow, too sexy for my shadow, but that's all I have. <laughs> Yeah. An interview. Yeah. Okay. This is my thing. What's your name? Jeanette. And I don't like to talk on video. Oh, okay. Well, no. I'm Steve. Oh, Steve. Now you're from the US. So I met this beautiful couple very first day in Saint John, and now we've caught up. So how's the Camino been so far for you guys? It's been challenging and tough because there's lots of ups and downs, but it's exhilarating. The beautiful countryside. Mm. So. Yeah. Do you want to add to that? It's good. <laughs> Man, a few words. I like it. <laughs> um, okay, two more questions, guys. Um, any tips for people starting out for the, on the Camino or wanting to do the Camino? I'd just say go slower than you think you need to go. Oh, it lovely. It will pay off. Great you know. advice, yes. Point your feet in the right direction. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And train, train ahead of time. Make yeah, it more enjoyable. Yeah, you guys are so yeah. fit. I love it. And uh, okay, last question. Three words just to describe the Camino, and you can't repeat each other's words. You start then. <laughs> Three words. Wow! 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 wow. <laughs> Oh, no. oh my goodness! Are we awake this morning? Is it adventure, <laughs> educational. Um, <laughs> thrilling. Oh, Not lovely. Thrilling. Well, you both are a real joy. Love I meeting you, see. looking at your shoes. Oh. Are they Merrill Trail shoes? Yes. Yeah. Are they a new design? Because I think they've only just started doing trail shoes. You both got UK. Merrill's? Yours are Skechers? Yeah. Mine's Skechers. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. I, you know, I, Solomon's were recommended to me. I tried mm. on several pairs and they just weren't designed for my feet. Yeah. I tried on the Merrells, they fit perfect. Aww, yeah, I wear comfy. Merrells at home, but I hadn't, I didn't know about that. Uh, so I've gone for the Ultra. Yeah, I've tried so many pairs. They're I'm on my fifth so pair. I'm on a shoe rack at home. I thought at least I can wear them for walking around at home. <laughs> She's first time ever pilgrim asking me for my three words. Oh, the pressure is on. I know, it's mm. so I think my three words would have to be um oh no that's two words letting go is one of them but it's kind of two words release, okay release um uh introspection like looking inward and um freedom yeah. that's it sweetheart hi beautiful I'm sorry again no food for catch did you just come out for a little scratch oh is that where you slept last night bye bye beautiful cat bye bye hello darling Oh, you're beautiful, darling. Mm, hi, gorgeous. Thanks for showing me your face. Bye-bye. Oh, alone at last. <laughs> a 
I love company, but um, sometimes it feels like I've got the radio on in the background when what I really want is just a bit of silence. Silence is so rare in this world. Anyways, it's a beautiful morning. I wish you guys could see it. The sun has a lovely, I don't know, tone to it. See how it kind of reddish? And I love how it reflects on the vines. Here's the terrain. Kind of rocky, but not too hard on the feet. I don't like gravel because it's kind of a little bit slippery. This one's got a bit of clay texture to it. Um, the next town is 9Ks away, so I've got a bit of time just to reflect. Um, I've actually got a an interview um, tomorrow morning. You know, I've been interviewing people and asking them what are their three words to describe the Camino. And I have to say, somebody asked me that and I had to like stop and think. I'm not too sure what my three words would be. I think I'll just keep that to myself for now. I know it's a bit hypocritical, but I just can't distill it. Arrow to guide the way. So it's day 12 for me here and I am thinking about home. It started last night. Oh, every day I think about home, but I think about my children and my parents and my family and all my loved ones. And, um, you know, Australia seems so far away. I'm starting to really feel a bit more relaxed, I guess, settling into the Camino. Um, I know I'm supposed to do the inner works, but I don't really know what that is at the moment. I mean, do you compartmentalise career, work, family, love? Um future planning. A lot of the people who are on the Camino are in transition and I guess in some ways I am too because I decided to go on the Camino um, as soon as my kids turned legal adulthood. Now I want to be the best version of myself to be present for my children as they navigate this early adulthood and I think for me to be the best version of myself. I need to think through and exercise and put behind some demons. And last night I was talking to this Brazilian pilgrim called Patrice and she said something that was quite interesting. She said, the Camino's being challenging, it's long and you know, you've got the, um, the bad angel on one side and the good angel on the other side and they're always in conflict. And later on, she was walking down the streets in her PJ, vaping away, just the, looking very, very cool and glamorous. And it's, you know, interesting because if you meet her on the street, you wouldn't think that she's capable of saying something so profound. Um, you know, life is about making choices and you are bound to have ne um, conflicting ideas and for me, even like choosing things on the menu can be like, you know, should I eat that or maybe I shouldn't. So it's been, I know that's a very superficial way of trying to make sense of that statement, but life is about choices. And I think the Camino for me is partly because I know that I've made some wrong choices in my life and it has been very difficult, especially during the divorce process, I think I was really unsure of myself and questioning myself all the time. But I'm here now and I've gone through it and I find myself thinking, well, those choices, bad or good, have led me to where I am today. And where I am today is still searching, but I'm quite strong. Well, my body is strong enough to get me through 200 kilometers carrying a backpack, walking with my own two feet and nothing else really, um, and poles. <laughs> so, you know, should I be grateful for what life has taught me despite those wrong choices? I wish I was the kind of, you know, girl that made amazing choices. I mean, I think Facebook just showcase people who have just done everything perfectly Marry the right person, got the perfect children, although I wouldn't swap my kids for anything, okay? Um, the perfect career, best body, lovely homes and holidays and 
and you think, oh, well, they've made the right choice. That's it, though. Um, I've got friends who are all of that, who have called me up and says, oh, my gosh, I think, you know, this and this has happened and I'm going to have to do this and this and this and why have I gotten myself in this situation? And I would say, wow, you know, on the outside, you look like you've got a perfect life and yet there are inner turmoil. So anyway, I'm rambling on, but what I'm saying is that choices can be good and bad and you may think you made the wrong choice but maybe it was the right choice and it's just life you know look at this beauty look at this guys <laughs> i'm not quite alone sadly there's pilgrims behind me we'll carry on okay everybody i'm here with a lovely u.s couple uh, what's your name Henry. Michelle. Okay. I asked him that if they were on their honeymoon, they said no. <laughs> what's what's your experience like on the Camino so far? Pain, oh. suffering. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's beautiful, you know? The yeah. first day was a little rough, but after that, it's kind of been smooth. Yeah, it's hard to have to put so. up with him every day. Oh. But, you know, you'll get used to him, and he stays pretty quiet, and he feeds me food. So. Yeah, snacks are key. I think it's lovely that um, couples do Caminos together, especially just four years married. It's so nice to do something that is quite strenuous and challenging. Yeah. Right. We do a lot of incorporate a lot of prayer, you know, as we walk, and... You know, the fresh air and yeah, sunshine. you meet so many great people along the way. So you do. That really helps, you know, the, the yeah. conversation helps get you to the next town because it gives you something to take your mind off of everything else. Yeah. yeah. So you mentioned prayer. Is that something that's quite um, important for you as part of choosing the, the pilgrimage, this one? Yeah, um, well, we're Catholic, so... So am I, actually, yes. Okay, yeah, so... So we know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say, we say the rosary you know, oh, three right. times a day. Oh, fantastic. Do you carry a rosary? Oh, yes, you do. Oh, just yeah. a light one. You it's know. very lightweight. Oh, that's so. really pretty. It's like a little travel rosary. Have so you seen... it's broken, it doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> Not a nice one, yeah. Hey, so I met a priest from Sydney, oh, wow. and um, he said, oh, I've got fingers, I don't need rose rosemary. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. But what are your thoughts about the cathedrals that you've been seeing? Oh, the last one that we went into, the co-cathedral of, was it the Granio? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's oh it gave me playing goosebumps. the organ. Oh. It's nice to see these old, beautiful churches that they keep intact, because so many, you know, outside of here or in the U.S. or whatnot, you know, when they build them, they're, they're so empty, you know, they don't, you don't feel like the presence of God is there, you know, it's just kind of plain, but these beautiful yeah. with the gold altar. Oh, yeah. oh, there's so much gold, right? Like, I mean, obviously, they really did invest in that. Yeah. You know, um, I, the presence of God, I really felt when I was in Barcelona going to the Sagra Familia. Have you been there? Yeah. It is the most amazing cathedral. There's, it's been built a hundred years ago, started, yeah. but they're going to finish it in a few years. Okay. And um, Gaudi, it's a Gaudi architecture okay. um, the cathedral and it's just stunning. Anyways, um, okay, so two more questions. Um, any tips for people who are starting out on the Camino or if they want to do it? Well, now I'm learning since it's September that it might be nice to have a little lightweight uh, Little jacket. Jacket here. <laughs> oh, the right. rain jacket. The rain jacket holds in the heat. The heat. The heat and, and it's the almost sweat. too hot. Oh, so you like a fleece, you reckon? He's like, better. Uh, lighter just than like that. a lightweight, like a like a sun like a running jacket, jacket, maybe. Oh. You know, yeah. something really light. Hey, good one. That's a great idea. I like, that. I like that advice very much. Okay, last question. Three words each to describe the Camino. I can't repeat them, guys. Okay. Then I get to go first. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think. <laughs> I would say. Motivating, uh huh, powerful, uh huh, and inspiring. Yes, and you take a look. I like the good one. <laughs> Say, uh, well, painful, <laughs> he's, going uh, he's realistic, yeah, uh, freeing, yeah, and open. Oh, yeah. I love those words, guys. That's six wonderful words. All right, well, I wish you all the best and thank you for doing the interview thank for me you, today. Ben Kavina, you too. Take care. You too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Charles. He's yeah. quite well liked too, isn't he? William and Kate. Yes, yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how our house is at the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit well, from an outsider, from an, from as an Australian point of view, we get a lot of news about the royal family being the Commonwealth, I guess, and um, they. The media is very sympathetic to Kate and William yeah. and I hope she's okay because she's carrying quite a lot yeah. and she's really good for the family I think. She's a yeah, really good ambassador. Yeah. I hope she's alright. Sort of, uh, They're called cat's tail. Yeah. It's good and tough. Video of that lovely shoe. So these are the new shoes from Pamplona. They yes. seem to be very they, big on hokers, huh? Yeah, they recommended me to buy them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think flexibility is very important when you're working. Look at these sunflowers. You think they'd be like pretty much gone, but they're still here. A bit wilted. It's very, very flat but hot and no shades, no shades. <laughs> Okay, so I think 4Ks since I last checked in and we are on an upward climb. This is the kind of terrain, not too bad on your feet, but a little bit steep. And the views are really nice. It's very warm today and um, a bit worried about Adelina. Uh, she wanted to stop and I wanted to ask if she wanted me to stay with her, but it looked like she might want to be alone. So I left, but um, there's plenty of pilgrims behind. So I hope she takes care of herself because she's um, got a slightly injured knee, which seems to be holding up okay. Uh, and um, uh, she's she's sent on her backpack, but she didn't carry any water. And I said, wow, okay, can I give you some of my water? Although it's a bladder, a camel bag. I don't know how hygienic that would be, but, and other pilgrims have offered, but she's declined. So anyways, I guess she knows best, but um, our advice to her is she must carry water before the Meseta because it's long and hot and no coverage, no shades. And she should get a backpack, a small one from Burgos to carry water at least and sunscreen and so forth. Once again, I look like two pack because my cap is on to the left because I'm vain and did not bring a wide brim hat I am a baseball cap victim. <laughs> Anyways, um, doing okay. Um, it's a climb still. Look at the some of the cliff faces. And anyways, <sighs> I don't know why I've turned on this camera because there's really nothing much to say. Hola. Vale, si no que me llame Pedro a mí. Yo estoy aquí sirviendo, hay mucha gente y más o menos me hago cargo de los caballos, pero se me pueden ir. Is it cold? Los tengo aquí, me los han dejado aquí, es que se los llevo al periodista, digo, digo, pues vaya lío, digo, no, digo, no te los puedes llevar. It is? Okay. We're gonna go through this without scraping ourselves. Oh, that's quite sharp. Yeah, so it's Gary. Here you go, a golf course for those who like golf. They keep a pretty tidy lawn. 
seems to be a very empty town full of these box houses and apparently there's a golf course being built for people to come but no one's coming so lots of empty lots of for sale signs we have found the resort that all of these blocks have been built surrounding <laughs> it'd be nice to jump in right now i released her Okay, there's so many Steves on this trail. I'm um, with Steve and Alex, a father-son duo from Sydney. Yay, go Aussies. <laughs> All right, three questions, guys. Um, how has your Camino experience been so far? Awesome. Yeah. Alex? No, it's been really good. Better than I thought. Uh-huh. It took me uh, a day or two to work out the spirit of it. But once we did, it was all, yeah, really, really good. Oh, fab. The people we've been able to meet. Yep. And if you were to give advice for first-time pilgrims, what might they be? If you start the Saint-Jean, the first day is hard, uh -huh. but uh, it gets better and it's worth the effort. I'd start the Saint-Jean definitely because you wouldn't want to miss the Pyrenees. I know, the Pyrenees is my favourite too. Yeah. And I reckon you can do the Camino your way, yeah. uh -huh. but you should experience at least some nights in an albergue with a shared meal uh -huh. uh, and experiencing the stories of some of the other people on the trail. Beautifully yeah. said, Alex. I agree with that. I think the albergue is definitely part of the experience, right? Okay, so um, three words to describe the Camino. You can't repeat them. Okay, so three for you then, three for me. Yeah. Let's take your turns. Okay. You can take uh, your time. <laughs> Uh, Pinchos. <laughs> it's got to be food, right, <laughs> for you, Alex. Uh, communal. Uh huh. Uh, yes, yeah, stories. Nice. Uh, scenery. Yes. Uh, meaning. Oh. Hey. Oh, <laughs> wonderful! You guys are so in sync. That's so nice to see. So apparently Alex is going to drop out because he's not walking across yeah, Spain. I'm a drop out. <laughs> he's leaving in Burgos, but Steve's meeting his wife and he's going to go on to Santiago. It's so nice to meet you both. Lovely to meet you. Thanks for the interview and I dig your glasses. Cheers, man. Yeah, <laughs> my, my original glasses broke. I had to buy a new pair, so I bought the flashiest pair I could well, find. Well, why yeah. not? I love it, Alex. <laughs> it, I, apparently, um, Spanish pharmacy has got the best collection of sunglasses. Oh, really? Yeah, I met a Spaniard. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go. Well, Thank you guys. Go. Yeah, yeah. Buon Camino. The long and winding road. This looks like a promise of the Meseta, to be honest. <laughs> This could be like yeah. a Camino picture, huh? Yeah? yeah, like every time you open a book, this is like what you kind of see. Like so just wheat fields and sunburnt paths. We have lost the vignettes, yes. And sunflowers are starting to emerge again. Give me a sense of freedom and of possibilities, you know? So these ones, they should, they were not farmed then, these sunflowers. Is that why they're all left burnt to a crisp? And they're just harvest them. And then, they're harvest it for seeds, yeah? They harvest the seeds. Yeah. So the seeds are still on site, so maybe they just, I don't know, they dry? Or... They, they've just been left here. We'll use it for sunflower oil. Mm, okay. Um, maybe they'll just use the machine to cut them all down. Yeah. There's a big one, obviously being well nourished. <laughs> on the road again. Mm -hmm, on the road again. So this is a very famous tree, by the way, guys. Yeah, it's a famous tree. Yeah. People, because a tree is so rare. And it was in a dip. You can't cut trees down, that's famous. And sort of re uh, sort of using it to uh, create more little trees from it. Film you. Margaret is demonstrating how to navigate a steep hill without breaking your knees. 
and she's doing it so beautifully being a dancer and a PE teacher there you go I have been requesting for to see her repertoire <laughs> you look like you're skiing Margaret are you a skier you don't believe in throwing yourself down a mountain? No. A, I wouldn't be able to get up there because I don't like being chair The chair lifts. So It's all paved, it's paved and then there's like stones along the side. I need to go to the toilet to be honest. So this represents the figure of Santo Dominic inside the pillar of a bridge. In the 11th century, St. Dominic built a bridge over the river Oja, Oya, so pilgrims could cross it more easily. Why, thank you, Mr. Santo Dominic. They've put nets up the hills, I guess, to stop it from eroding. What are these lovely plants? Oh, are they zucchinis? Isn't that clever? The sculpture, the cutouts. Always look back. Always look back. About a K out now, aren't we? Those plants we saw along the way were potatoes because that's a lot of potatoes, brothers. And all those chips that you get on your pilgrim meals. Always fries, that's where they're from. <laughs> cool. Cool crates. Factory packaging potatoes. Potatoes, yes. Look at this truck. So cute. <laughs> La patata con dini. See the church up ahead? That's always the highest point of any village. That is the gateway to the city's football club. And look at the chicken on the ball. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, the chicken is very important. I'll tell you why later. What is that fruit? Is it really lemon? No, it's not. It's no. Is it an apple? I have no idea. Oh, they're looking quite distressed. I'm getting tired now. This is where we're staying and it's been opened or tending to pilgrims since 1106. How amazing! That's where we're staying tonight. Have you guys got that? <laughs> For my home people, this is the first Chinese fonts sign I've seen on the Camino. Must go and check it out later. And the world's biggest arrow. <laughs> Won't get lost. This is a very cool sculpture. This is Peregrino. We are here, Santo Domingo de la Calzada. Hi. This is not where we are staying. <laughs> I always think that that means the mayor lives on the street, but it actually means the main street. This is where we're staying tonight, or oh, I'm staying. Check in. Wow, it's quite a large place. Yeah. Very organised, Albert. Okay, because there's hooks for the sticks. Dump my bag. We're gonna take our shoes off now, because shoes and sticks are always separate to living quarters. <laughs> ATM that way 
and we're heading oh there's a laundromat across from the elbow okay if you want it an atm machine we're gonna go and get something to drink i think it's a really cute town Cheers to a wonderful walk today. We made it. I love these windows. Beautiful plants coming out. And look at the roof. So many details. Okay. Maybe a relatively new church? I like this particular series of painting. Talks of domestic life. This is a rather modern church, like there's no gold gilded um, altar, but I do love that. That is amazing. I love the vaulted ceilings. Well, there's still some gold. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit more about the story of why we are calling this the Chicken Church. It um, tells the story of a pilgrim a long time ago, I think, um, who traveled to this town, Santo Domenico, and um, was then accosted by a girl who wanted him to fall in love with her. When he didn't return her affection, she planted some kind of silver in his backpack, and then um, he was then uh, caught, and there he was There is a chicken home. in there, but he won't come out. You can see, can see is the red pits. Yeah. <laughs> red pits. Red pits. Come on, chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. There's a chicken in there. So that piece of wood is from the gallows. Oh, that's amazing. That's... And these were offerings of some sort. So the story continues that the parents of this poor pilgrim went to see the Pope of the time and said, look, 
um, you know, uh, I, we went to rescue our son and found that he was still alive. The Pope said, no way, he cannot be alive. He was hung. If he was alive, these two roast chicken on my plate would just stand up and run off. And sure enough, the two ch- the chickens from his plate stood up and ran away. And hence, the chicken now no, is a legend. Gone back. The red bits came up. There, the red bit. That's, the, that's a live chicken. Just me. It's it so the... high. I think they have it that height. Seriously. See the red, red bits that come popping up now and then. That's his, Who's going we call there? it. I've never seen a Jesus on a cross that looks like this before. I had, I mean, I had to show it because he looks so really different to the images that I had seen. You know? This would have to be the most modern stained glass windows I've ever seen. It's just a very modern kind of church. Yeah. These are very old um, priest garments. The Virgin, as they refer to Mary, is very dominant on the Camino. There's probably more references to her than say Jesus, I think. And she's everywhere. Her images is everywhere. Jesus, right? In yeah. the... Interesting. More so than any kind of other. Uh, so this cross here has carving that says words like crisis, cancer, accident, death. drugs, death, poverty, illness, illness pain, noise, Egotism, traffic, theft, slavery, hunger, AIDS, selfishness, pain. Yeah, it's a cross that says. Oh! It says climate change too, that cross. These are the seats that sit to observe the silver. Well, they were made in Norwich in the UK. Oh. So that sign says, <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but it's 2,100 euros and you can ask at the shop and it's yours, all of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a baby Jesus. You can't carry that back on the Camino. <laughs> this is the Parador, which is a famous chain of hotels and it's, yeah, it's, it costs quite a bit to stay here. Oh, I see. It's run by Spanish community. Nice. The Parador is run by the Spanish to preserve old iconic buildings. It's kind of cool. Turn them into hotels. There's so many iconic buildings in Europe. A door that's been created into a dining table. It's a good idea. You can see the details of the woodwork. Nice carpet. So we're just checking out the albergue's backyard and here's where you can hold, like have a picnic. Hello. And you can soak your feet too, can't you? Oh. Thank you. A takeaway tea. Just go to the city. Beautiful plants. This albergue is definitely worth staying at. It's huge, there's about 200 beds. So I think most people when they come here should get a bed. But still, book ahead, yeah? So you this. Don't ask, don't think about it. <laughs> the albergue makes available these things to put your feet in. Yes, you're right, just don't ask. Not sure if it's clean, but it's cold. Oh, it is cold. Ooh. <laughs> ah, it's freezing. That's what you need. But there's no 
Oh, yeah, there's a plug. So these are the chickens which get rotated with the ones in the church. They come here to this albergue. <laughs> there's quite a few of them and they get rotated every 15 weeks. And apparently legend has it they come from descendants of that famous chicken that were roasted and stood up and ran out for a miracle. There you go. Still there. <laughs> Which is a third of the way to Santiago. Cute shells lining the balustrades. Always a lot of steps at our work, guys. <laughs> We are walking up the 70 meter bell tower, built third go because the first two was collapsed. <laughs> After a day of walking 22 kilometers, I'm not sure if walking upstairs is really what I needed. <laughs> but it's gonna be a great view. Hello, <laughs> oh, you think so? <laughs> light to go through these holes but then you've also got windows let's step back on my toes <laughs> <laughs> look at those windows <laughs> oh goodness oh, really heavy, really. look at that rio what's it roha oha Exercise and the buns of steel. Amazing. Oh my goodness, this is so worth seeing. <gasps> oh, love it. <sighs> wow. Oh my goodness. I think it rings on the hour, doesn't it? <gasps> wow, guys, this is so worth climbing up 70 meters. <laughs> Look at this, it's surrounded by bells. Wow, mm -hmm. this is at Santo Domenico di Calzada. You must stop here on the Camino if you can. It is ticket of five euro that gives you the cathedral and the bell tower. I love it. It's exquisite in terms of the architecture and the view. Look at this. <laughs> Giving you guys first hand look at this. Look. Do you know what year this tower was built? I think. Don't worry, I'll find it downstairs. I think it was something like 1800 or something. see the road that we walk in from this morning which is oh there it is hang on see that line that zigzag line that's how we got into town 
There was a lovely pilgrim from Germany who offered to take a photo of me. That was really nice, of that pilgrim. And um, anyways, it is such a beautiful view. I don't want to go down, but we must go down, I think. And um, I really I encourage you guys to come up here. It's in that town, this town, Santo Domenico di Calzada. It's really worth it. <laughs> have the market on watch <laughs> yes, they do. yes on movement timepieces wow I think my son would love this he's into machinery Massive. This is the mold of the bell that we saw, I think, above. This illustrates how you make them. That's why I like cathedrals because it's just... It's siesta time. That beautiful courtyard. A lot of tournaments and stuff can be held here. Okay. I think they come in tubs of four. I don't mind, you can choose, okay? Because then we can just split it. Uh, we are in the DIA, DIA supermarket. And we're gonna grab some dinner and lunch tomorrow. Yay, we'll be having this for dessert. This is our haul. So I lost my laundry soap this morning from the last elbow, okay? So have to go and get another one and I think this one is okay it's about four or five euros a bit heavy but I need to wash my clothes I think so I'll grab this but um, just letting you know that there is plenty of shops along the way um, if you need any items and it's really well stocked everything from shoes to stuff so this, yeah. is the, this is the kitchen where pilgrims can make dinner it's a really big kitchen that we sell okay. So we got a salad, to, a salad each, some bananas. Uh, we got a loaf of bread and we split in half with some hamon and cheese. And then we're gonna have some tomato and avocado. So basically, for eight, no, sixteen euros, we are organizing our dinner and a little bit of lunch for tomorrow. And we've got yogurt. <laughs> yeah. <That's> so, <laughs> and then she's got the salsa happening, which is fantastic. Was the tag for the bell tower? Cute. 